I saw the most beautiful photograph today. It's something my friend sent me. It seems like a simple photo, but it's not. In this little picture, I could see the depth and breadth of human life. How fragile we are. How invaluable human existence is. And how the most powerful force in the universe is love. And that love isn't bound by time or space. I can transcend everything, even death. Thirty-three years ago, four thirteen-year-old boys were hanging out in the basement. There were two guitars, one drum set, and a microphone. They did everything in their power to sound like Led Zeppelin. The four boys did everything together, experiencing as many firsts together as anyone could for their age. They loved each other more than they could express, but didn't actually say it, because when you're that young, it's just not cool. In ninth grade, Kenny moved away to Washington State. Charlie, Freddie, and Gene graduated from the same high school together. Charlie landed a great job with the town of Hempstead, Freddie landed one with the county, and Gene moved to California to become an actor. Then one evening, in September of 1997, Kenny, Charlie, Freddie, and Jean went to sleep, each one at different times and in different places. The next morning, only three of them woke up. Kenny went on to marry his beautiful wife, Luann, and they have two gorgeous boys together. Kenny is still rocking. Charlie wound up marrying one of our beautiful classmates, and they have two gorgeous children together. Charlie is still rocking. Gene married the woman of his dreams. They have eight boys and a girl due any minute. Gene is now an actor and a film producer. Freddie spends most of his time supporting his three friends, Kenny, Charlie, and Gene. Charlie went to see him today. He told Freddie he came on behalf of the three of us. Freddie was silent. All he could do was hold us up and together like he always did. Nowadays, I tell Charlie and Kenny how much I love them each time I talk to him. We cry like babies about Freddie. But like my brother said to me the other day, you never lost him because you never had him. All you could do was love him. And as long as you continue to love him, he'll always be with you.